Yeah, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another little, um, I guess, not really install, I guess it's a fab video. I'm so used to saying back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 video, but that's not the case today, man. Today, I picked up this G35 trunk here, Now I believe this came off of an 04. I got this locally on a group on Facebook, the VQ North group. Now the reason that I wanted this is because, as you guys know, it is winter time here in Canada, and I've been looking online at these duckbill spoilers, and they look really sick. The only problem is for me to get one of those things shipped here to Canada, the exchange rates, the duties, the overall cost of the part itself is going to cost me a lot of money. And the name of the game with the G35, as you guys know, has always been budget, 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 which is why I decided to pick up this trunk and we are going to try to fabricate our own. Now I recently picked up this welder, uh, Lincoln Electric MIG Pack 140, and I figured since, what up, what up? I figured since I had the welder, it would be a, a nice little project to try to build myself a duck bill spoiler for the G35. Now obviously, this spoiler here is gonna have to come off, so I'm gonna take this off and probably put this up for sale online, maybe recoup some of the money that I spent on this thing. Um, then this is Plasti Dip, so we are gonna have to peel this Plasti Dip off of the trunk. Now, for those of you guys who know about Plasti Dip, pretty straightforward, so I'm not too worried about that process. Then what I'm probably gonna have to do is uh, make a cardboard template or stencil now i'm not really sure if i'm gonna break this up into like two or three parts or maybe just make it one long video uh if this, you know this it might be a little bit long so chances are i might break it up but for the time being what i have to do here is just get this spoiler off as i told you guys already i'm gonna get all the plasti dip peeled off of here and then as you can see, there's a little bit of dents here. Um, so I'm gonna try to work some of those out just so it's a little bit easier for me when I'm making my cardboard template. And then I'm basically gonna try to replicate what I make out of cardboard, out of sheet metal. Now, I've seen a couple different processes online of people using like expanding foam and stuff like that with really no luck. So I'm gonna try a different approach and actually do it legit, weld the wing onto the trunk now. I was thinking about weight. I will be weighing the spoiler when it comes off of this car. So yeah, I guess with that being said, I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, get to messing around with this thing. Okay, so as you guys can see, that was pretty straightforward. Surprisingly, just one bolt and then a little bit of two-sided tape. This is actually a clip that appears to be broken. Um, so yeah, that's good. Hopefully, I'll be able to sell that for a little money because you guys know your boy Denali's all about that budget. So next up, what I want to do is on the underside, there are still, as you can see, the hinges here. So I'm going to see if I have a Torx bit that I can take these off with, uh, bust out the impact gun. Just going to make things a little bit easier uh, to work with. And then we are going to be able to start peeling the Plasti Dip. Alrighty, so brackets are off. I got all the hardware and everything taped together just in case I need this. I don't think I will because I'll probably just use the hardware that's on the car right now. But just in case, we're gonna keep that. And now comes the fun part. We get to peel all of this Plasti Dip off. Now as you can see, we're already, we're already starting to peel, so that's a good sign. So I'm gonna put the camera down, maybe do a little time lapse of me peeling this stuff and uh, see what it looks like underneath. Okay, so I got all of the Plasti Dip off. Um, I have to be 100% honest, the worst part was the like sticky tape that holds on the uh, top spoiler and the logo. That was like the biggest. There's still some on here I'm gonna have to scrape off. 
So next up, what I want to do, as you guys can see, there's a couple of dents in this trunk. I don't really know what in the hell happened to this. Um, this whole thing is going to be getting body filler. Now, I'm not sure if I want to paint it or wrap it, but I kind of want to see if I can pull this dent out just so this top line here is straight. As you can see, there's a bit of a bulge. I'm not really sure how that happened. But what I want to do is build the spoiler off of this line right here. So I kind of want to try to pull this part out and then flatten the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and dick around with that off camera. And um, when I come back, I guess we'll start doing the cardboard template. Okay, so I just went at this thing with a little rubber mallet. Now this area right here seems to be the worst. Um, not the biggest issue. What I'm going to do is probably hit it with some body filler and then sand it down and figure out where the high points are and just kind of fill it out. Now the thing with this is it's going to be very difficult to get this extremely flat along the whole surface. I by no means am a body man. The way I'm going to work this, you guys are going to see in a second once we get into the cardboard cutout. But basically I'm going to have a stencil that comes out from this area lip right here I was gonna do it down low but from what I've seen on the internet they come straight out like this an oval from this edge over across to here and then I'm gonna form uh, another edge that goes down here that mates with the top of the trunk now like I say I do have the welder so we are gonna be welding this directly to the trunk so everything here is gonna be needing body filler and body work anyway so this doesn't really bother me yeah, that's pretty much where we sit right now. So I guess next up is coming the cardboard template. Okay, so I'm ready to make the cardboard template. And basically what I'm going to do now is try to figure out exactly how to get this curve. Now, you'll notice I have a couple little magnets stuck on here. And what that's going to do for me is that when I put a straight edge, I'm going to use one a little longer. I actually got this... Uh, rail from my bed there and uh you know just ingenuity at its finest so basically what's going to happen is i'm not going to use this i'm going to use the rail but when i put it on it's basically going to meet up perfectly right here touching this is going to support it all the way going out here so basically what's going to happen is the bar is going to be hanging off the edge here like so and then what i'm going to have to do is take a measurement from here to here on both sides make sure that they're the same and then that's gonna basically tell me how big how far out this trunk lid right here is from over there where i need to be making the cutout um so basically i'm just gonna do that right now i don't know if it's gonna be something that's easy or not probably not um because this is a pretty long bar so i'm gonna go ahead and get that measurement right now and get back to you guys when I'm finished. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, I just have my straight edge there and I'm basically taking a measurement right from the edge of the trunk. And what's that? what that's gonna show me is exactly how deep of a curve I need to make this. Now I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm talking about in a second, but right off of the bat, I'm gonna go out and say six, cause I'm gonna start it a little bit on the inside. We'll say six centimeters on this side. <clears throat> Things are looking pretty close on this side as well. Now this line keeps moving. Now this is just gonna be for my cardboard template, so this doesn't have to be exact, but that's looking pretty good there. So it looks like it's we have six centimeters between where the bottom of the lip and the top of this curve is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that out on a piece of cardboard and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is basically what I wanted to do. So what I did was I measured from this end to this end right here, right there. And then I measured halfway through that point and that's where I put my six centimeter um, high point. So as you can see, that's where this is right here. And then basically I just drew a gradual line. Now it's not perfect all the way to each side. Did the same on this side. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is basically cut this out. I'm gonna cut a little more 
to this side of the line, like here, that way I can just keep trimming more and more away until I get that perfect curve. And that's gonna be the inside of the duckville. Now it's gonna be important to have this stencil. So once I do get it made, I'm gonna start from a separate piece of cardboard and then I'm gonna start experimenting with different shapes of the spoiler and see exactly what works for me. But this is just to get that initial inside curve on that edge of the trunk. So I'm gonna go ahead carve this out with a knife or whatever I have kicking around and get back to you guys once I'm done. Okay, so pretty much the whole reason that I wanted to do all of that is just to get this line right here when I mate up the lip, as you can see, I want this line to be as close as possible because like I say, I am gonna be welding this. I still gotta do a little bit of trimming at this corner right here is just a little bit high. But all in all, I just want this template so that basically I can cut out a different, a couple different styles of wings and always have this edge right here exactly the same. So this is going to be my template. I'm not going to do anything with this except for trace out curves on other pieces of cardboard. So this is going to be my main template. I just wanted to show you guys how I made the curve like that. And yeah, man. So now what I'm going to do is I guess get some more cardboard and start figuring out a actual shape for this thing. Okay, so before I cut the shape, I figured I'd show you guys the style of lip that I'm going for. So as you guys can see, it has kind of a lip that pops out from this edge of the trunk. And then if you look on the side, like it kind of swoops like it kind of comes like out and then the lip comes down and then like you know down across the trunk so it actually like makes the air go up like this so it's actually functional and then along the sides right here oops along the sides right here as you can see there's kind it kind of rounds down along the side so what I'm gonna do is basically make one piece coming out from the trunk have another piece of sheet metal swooping down like this and then basically what I'm gonna do is build some sides that kind of cover the sides here, weld them on, and then kind of try to grind them as round as possible. Now it's obviously not gonna look as perfect as this duckbill trunk. Um, like I say, this is my first time trying this. So if it turned out crap, this video probably won't even come out, but that's the look that I'm going for. Now I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be the easiest way um, to manipulate a thin piece of sheet metal, especially on the side. Now I could do just a, a small lip that comes out like this and then have just another thin piece maybe come, let me see if I can hold this, maybe come from here and then just to right there, right? So it doesn't come down quite as flat. But I'm gonna try to go for the style that I showed you guys here and um, I don't know, we're gonna see what happens. Alrighty, so basically this is the first layout that I have here. Um, so what I did is I just took this curve, I just moved it up four and a half inches, um, traced a line, and then I just made myself a little uh, protractor angle thing here. And what I did is I put it to the side here and I used, I believe this is 60 degrees, and then I'll just, that'll be my angle for the side of the wing. So I'm gonna cut this out of the cardboard right now and I'm gonna have to figure out as well which angle I want it to come off of the side here. So I'm gonna figure that out um, once I get everything cut out and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so I just got the cardboard template all cut out. As you can see, it's just taped on there. Um, don't mind these, these are just basically to hold it at the proper angle. Um, so basically, this is the first shape, and I kind of actually like it. It looks almost identical to just the way that the edges come up. Now, I did cut, they're pretty much square right now. I didn't bother rounding them out. Um, that I think is just going to be easier for me to get like a, a closer finish. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like, like taped on right now. So now basically what I'm going to do is I have this board and this is basically going to act kind of like the sheet metal and that is going to kind of do the duckbill thing as you can see. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and 
tape that up there, cut everything up and see if I can make it look actually half decent. Okay, so basically what I did is I taped two sheets together. Um, I overlapped them over this way and I just drew a line on the underside and then I cut it. So as you can see now, I'm going to have kind of a little area underneath and that's to kind of make the air flow directly off of this. Um, now my idea here is not to have it go all the way to the back obviously. I'm going to make a line um, equal on each side and then I'm going to take that curved template that I made earlier and I'm just going to make a curved cut along here so that when this hits the trunk hopefully it'll be nice and flush the whole way across and this will only be probably I don't know maybe eight or nine inches and then I'll make a side plate that basically goes from this corner and covers this side hopefully this hole I might have to fill this one here but that's okay like I say this is gonna be getting some body work anyways so yeah I guess I'm gonna put the camera down right now um, make my measurement with this board on a flat ground and then like I say make that oval cut and hopefully that will give me the same line that I have down here and everything will uh, you know touch the trunk perfect that way I can drop a nice weld along each seam so wish me luck okay so this is what it looks like so far um, this is what the cardboard kind of air dam that's gonna direct all the air off of the back now I have this set up to the exact angle that it's gonna be on the car and after looking at it I kind of want to flip the bill up just a little bit more so it's just a little bit more aggressive I don't know I'm kind of determined because when you're sitting back here it looks pretty sick but as soon as you get up with an eye level or above it it you can't really tell that it's there so what I think I may do is just flip it up just a little bit more nothing too aggressive but just a bit more so I'm gonna cut a couple more of these cardboard um, angle templates and um, get it set up to where I want and then once I get all of that figured out basically what I'll have to do is just cut a piece that's gonna cover up this side now as I was looking on the top here I wouldn't mind making this a little bit more to what this angle looks like so I might put the paper down on the floor get the trunk on top of it and trace a line with that that way this is a little more matching here and not opposed to what's on the back of the trunk so I think that'll probably be what I do for there but for the time being I think I gotta make that just a little bit more aggressive man so I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself some new templates and take care of that okay so I just built a few more um, anglers as you can see these ones have just a little bit more angle on them and I think that looks that much better I don't know maybe it's just me maybe I just want to be friggin ignorant thoughty ass some bitch out here um, so now that I have this all finished on the front here also what I did as you can see is I flipped the trunk over on this piece of paper and I made that my line so now that when I weld that it's not gonna look like it's just a straight piece I'm hoping that I can you know grind everything down to make this look absolutely flush so you won't even be able to tell but I figured this would just be a little bit easier to do that. Go with the body lines a little bit better. So now what I have to do is build some side plates here. Now they're going to be sort of triangular with a little bit of an angle here. And as you can see, I should be able to just weld that on and cover that right there. And I figured that I was going to weld these holes closed. So I don't know, I'll weld something to the back and then fill the holes up. What I'm going to do next is just get my paper and kind of put it on here and then trace out the line that I need to. Now as you can see I left a little bit of a lip right here. Now that's going to be this top piece is going to be a thinner sheet metal and this is going to be a thicker metal. So I just wanted to leave a lip so that when I do weld I can just right to here. So I'm not going to be doing it on a seam on the end. So I don't know that's just something I'm doing to help myself uh, when I get to that stage. So once I get these side pieces on I guess I'll come back and uh, show you guys that. Okay, so here is the final template. Now, as you guys can see, I cut out some little side uh, sills here. So basically, what I'm going to do is track down some metal. Like I say, this 
bottom piece right here I think is going to be a little bit of a thicker metal these side pieces I don't know I'm going to I'm going to look around and like when I get to the metal and actually get to feel it you know what I mean um I'm going to see what I decide to go with but I think it looks pretty good I really like the way that this turned out um after cutting this here as you can see, I have the other side. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to fill up these holes with weld and everything like that. Uh, this back piece here is definitely going to need some body work. Now I think what I'm going to do is probably split this video into two. So I'll probably end this video right now uh, just making the template, make it part one. And then once I get all of the metal and everything tracked down and cut the way that I want it and I come back and I start putting everything on the trunk, I think uh, that'll be part two, man. So if you guys are seeing this right now, now um, that means that I already have the metal and I'm already started to weld like I'm not gonna release this video until I know that I have everything ready to go so yeah man uh, this is part one so stay tuned for part two uh, don't mind my messy apartment it's winter time I got everything stored in here yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments section as always don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already yeah, man, I think it turned out pretty dope. We're going to see what it looks like once I get uh, get some actual metal up in this piece, man. Peace!